today I am shopping at the Goodwill Outlet Bins. Here's a cool old fake book. Add that to the cart. If you have not been to the Goodwill Bins, it's all these bins full of stuff. People are digging in this one. I just walked in, so I'm thinking maybe they just put this one out. Y'all, my friend Lee is here and she found this entire box. Like all of these were in this box. She opened this box and she said she squealed. <gasps> Ooh, these are some good flower frogs. Even at the antique stores, these are hard to find. I can't believe there's a whole box of them at the Goodwill bins. Y'all, look what I just spotted. <gasps> I think he's actually bigger than the sloth was. Look at this thing. It is giant and it looks like his dead look at it <laughs> let's see what the price is on it i am absolutely not buying it y'all <laughs> this bear is six dollars it is six dollars here's a whole bin of christmas ornaments <gasps> look at this it's 2.99 at goodwill it is coming home with me oh i have something to show y'all in a second lee found that Oh my gosh, look how cute this little mouse is. I need him. What is this piece? Oh, she's cute. Department 56. I might have to Google lens that. Little mouse. Oh, look, he dances. That's adorable. What is this? Some kind of Santa with wings. Yeah, he's kind of creepy. He's creepy, but creepy Christmas does well. So I think, I think I'm gonna get him. That's cute. All right, I'm gonna look this one up. All right, I just Google lens this. I'll put up on the screen what I found. Definitely coming home with me. Okay, Lee found this Santa. Look at him, he's heavy, he is big. The only thing is he's missing an arm, but I just can't leave him behind. So he's also coming home with me. This one looks like it got some cute stuff. Oh, here's some little wooden tags. Definitely add that to my DIY stash. What is this? I don't know. I'm gonna have to open that up, see what that is. There's another one right here. So a bunch of chalk. I don't think I need any chalk. What is this? Sticky notes. Cute. And they have a bunch of patterns as well. I like to look through these just to see if any have, you know, some good vintage images on them. Oh, look, here's some little magnets definitely could use that in my DIY stash as well. Got some more of these little round cutouts. I'm not sure what this is for. Oh, it says it's uh, 12 wooden coasters. I would have not guessed that that's coasters. They're super thin. Here's a bin full of ribbon. But it all looks kind of outdated stuff. Some picture frames. little cross stitch piece love one another birds that's kind of adorable could be a shelf sitter or you could hang it up I think I'm gonna get that Ooh, look at this super super crazed little teacup made in the USA that would be adorable in a little vignette or I could do that as a little that would be a good giveaway in a would not sale what else is in here anything else in this bin looks like they got some little garden signs right here Ooh, blue and white pottery don't really care for this pattern and there is a big chip right there no markings on the back these other bins are pretty empty that would be the best if they would change out the walls while it was here Here's a little handmade pottery piece with a frog glued in it. And I don't really care for this. You can 
paint pottery but I don't know the whole shape of this is just a little bit weird so I think I'm just gonna leave it here look at these little precious tiny little Christmas figurines like look how little these shoes are they absolutely need some tiny little bottle brush trees they all have openings except for Santa I think I don't see an opening in him but she has an opening right there and then look the little shoes adorable I'm gonna get these I uh, think I might have some trees in my stash that I can put in them and I'm gonna sell them as a set here's a whole bag of Legos in the bins y'all know how much this would cost at the store uh, people will be very excited if I bring this home to them this little box is cute mom's recipe box let's open it up let's see if there's any good recipes in it oh yeah look at that it's filled with old recipes somebody donated this shoni strawberry pie baked pineapple so cute here's some grape salad i don't know y'all should i rescue this tomato cheese and noodle casserole this box is adorable as well all right guys i think that's going to be it for our thrifting adventure at the goodwill bins today we ended up with a cart full i did kind of organize my stuff into bags for easier checkout but i got tons of goodies i even got a cute little purple sweatshirt for myself our santa here all right let me know if y'all think he's worth saving with the missing arm i'm just figuring you can set him up you know put his arm behind a tree or something where it's not even noticeable i just feel like i have to get this big old santa so i hope y'all enjoyed this thrifting adventure and i will see y'all in the next one if you like the items you saw in today's video, make sure you check out my website, juliesdesignsandsigns.com in the home decor section. It is filled with amazing vintage unique finds as well as beautiful greenery and home decor. And the first Wednesday of every month at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, I have the vintage drop on my website where all of the items I thrift for all month long become available for purchase. On my website, you will also find fusion paint and and Dixie Belle paint, as well as all of the amazing IOD products, paint brushes, and supplies. And on my website, guys, it is $9 flat rate shipping. So no matter how much you order, it is only $9. So make sure y'all go check out juliesdesignsandsigns.com. And mark your calendars for the next vintage drop.